In news, my lovely, wonderful people, Tribuna gives five critical facts why Tinubu <clears throat> might be unseated as president of Nigeria. Tinubu kicks APC, you know, crying over the roof and trying to worry over spilled milk. We will wait patiently to see what the judgment will be because as we speak right now, the judgment is still very much before the court and um, with all the evidences the court has, they need to decide on what's going on and take, you know, make a peek on what goes on with Nigeria, okay? And what's happening with our presidency, who becomes Nigeria's president. You know, as, it's, as it stands now, okay? Uh, hey, as it stands now, we need to ensure that the right things are done, okay? So having the judiciary, with all the stack up of evidence he has, making the right choice is very important. We don't know who our president is right now. Tinubu is sworn in, yes, but as a placeholder until either he's confirmed or he's removed. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like, or share, subscribe. Tribuna gives five critical facts why Tinubu might be on seat as president of Nigeria. APC kicks. As the presidential election petition tribunal reaches the climax stage, all eyes are on the five-member panel of the Apex Court to give its final verdict after admitting several pieces of evidence, listening to witnesses and petitors argument. However, Nigerians are on high alert, filled with anxiety, but patiently waiting for the ruling of the most critical court case in the history of Nigerians' democracy. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, on the other hand, seemed somewhat on predictable following a series of petitions filed against him and the evidence presented before the presidential election petition tribunal. However, his seat in Asso Rock is yet to be guaranteed. As strong allegations against him, evidences might prove to the tribunal on final judgment that he is not Nigerian's president. In a short piece, Neat Nigeria highlight five critical facts that could make Tinubu lose his grip on power. Questionable conduct of the election by INEC. This has been a topic that has been ongoing for months since the conclusion of the presidential election. Many political pursuit and public affair commentators have often criticized the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, for poor conduct of the presidential election. Most recently, European Union EU Election Observers Team released a report revealing that the election lacked credibility, transparency, and the report also revealed that the credibility of INEC officials and, it, and its leadership were questionable. The report says, Closer to the polls, some stated their doubts on INEC administrative operation and the efficiencies in its in-house capacity, public confidence regarding dec decrease and the general damage to the February 25th due to its operational failure and lack of transparency. Further, the fact that the media advisor to the president for the People's Democratic Party, Paul E.B., told late Nigeria that the evidences presented before tribunal also highlight express dwindling on INEC capacity, competence, and lacks of transparency during the election. The justice of the Apex Court has looked on all the evidences, and I believe that they will render justice on the account of evidences that the court has before them. The election was not conducted in compliance with Electoral Act law guidelines. Two, legal drug trafficking case. This has been a long-standing issue for President Tinubu and Alaji Atikwa Abubakar, Peter Obi also filed it against him. Tinubu has not questioned any of this and this is the real issue. Three, dual citizenship. As part of the petition filed by Atiku and the evidences presented before the tribunal, the President Bola Ahmed Tinubu was accused of possessing citizenship passport of Guinea, which he said has expired, and that if he wanted to be their citizen, expired in 2020, if he wanted to be their citizen, he would have renewed it. An expired passport does not disqualify you from being a citizen. 
Niger coup and EU struggles. Uh, can you see what's going on right now? Uh, the matter is serious. Tinubu, who currently chairs ECOWAS, appeared to find it difficult to command, command authority at the sub-Sahara region level following recent coup in the pub, in, in Niger Republic. Tinubu ordered the return of power to a civilian rule with seven days automaton timeline, but the military has said nothing of such and seemed not to be complying, complying with his guidelines. This has continued to make Tinubu's relevance dwindle. Article 121 states as stipulated by INEC, but was announced 12th. This significant case, Article and PDP has continued to heap upon the tribunal to uphold as contained in Article's final address through his late counsel, Chris Uche San, says INEC assurance that he won 21 states was neither disputed, debunked, nor claimed to be an error through the proceedings of the tribunal so far. This fact has been predicted to prove why the tribunal may rule against Tinobu. So wake up, my people. It is the dawn of a new day. You are sleeping. You need to wake up. You need to wake up. Okay? You need to wake up. So this is what is happening, and every single person can see we cannot continue with the same thing over and over again. Then expect that some, suddenly things will change. So Nigerians are watching and we want things to align properly, decently and in order so that this country can become what it needs to be. There are a lot of issues now, you know, filed out there that we all can see and we lead this country to rise up and um, make people understand that we cannot um, allow, okay, certain individuals who keeps lying to us, okay, uh -huh. this is what is going on. Uh -huh. This is what is really going on. And every single person needs to understand it. So this is it. This is it. Tinubu might be, it might be waved goodbye in no distant time. And this is already staring us all in the face. And so it is important that we understand it and put the right things in the right place. The round pegs go to round holes. Square pegs go to square holes. When you try to misplace them, when you try to put the round peg in the square hole, that's where problems start. Let's fit things in correctly. Dotting our eyes and crossing our teeth is so important so that there is clarity in the text. Yes, it is what it is, my wonderful people. From this end, we are saying bye for now. But we did get it back. We did keep you up to speed as the matter unfolds. God bless. Have a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now.